Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel, it's Manisha here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you um, stamping polishes. So I'm going to be sharing ones that I've got in my stamping collection, um, ranging from ones that I purchased quite early on when I first started stamping, right through to new ones that I've discovered and I love, um, pros and cons with different types, which one's a good value for money and things like that. If I've got direct links where I've purchased these from, and discount codes I will leave them for you down in the description box below so definitely check that out first so first up we're going to do Born Pretty store so this um, I'd say a lot of people do know Born Pretty if you don't they do sell a really big range of um, stamping plates polishes and all sorts of things to do with nail art now originally they had bottles that looked like this so I've got a lot in my range that are like this because um, this is one of the first companies that I purchased from when I first got into nail art and they are still reasonably cheap you know like they do have very well priced products and good quality products too I, I, I've never really had any issues with them so their um, ranges um, they do creams and metallics they've actually evolved to these sorts of polishes now so um, sort of going from these ones here and I haven't used some of these for a while so they probably they have probably stuck down but um We'll just sort of show you the consistency now. Um, stamping polishes, for those of you that don't know, they're usually um, a lot thicker than regular polishes. They tend to dry a lot faster and they will be a lot more opaque. So the opacity depends on the actual polish itself. Now, some brands tend to be a lot more opaque than others. Um, the reason you want to have an opaque um, stamping polish is when you do stamp is that you want to cover... Um, or have a clear image of what you're doing on top of whatever your base is. So for example, what I've got here, I've actually stamped with a navy blue colour. So that kind of pulls that to the top and then whatever's ha happening underneath is sort of like in the background, so to speak. So if the blue wasn't opaque, um, it sort of wouldn't mix up with the base and you wouldn't actually see a proper pattern emerge. So that's the reason why um, you need to use a stamping polish now that might not always be the case and I'm probably going to confuse a few people here but you can use regular polishes as um, a stamping polish if you wish to do so and I used to do that quite a lot when I first started out and um, I found that some of my darker color polishes um, and certain brands were sort of a little bit on the thicker side um, or they were just more opaque and then you could still do a bit of a stamped image um, but you just wouldn't get the, the opacity that you do with a regular stamping polish so that's why the one of the reasons why we tend to use specific stamping polishes for stamping these days um this one here just happens to be a cream one that they've seen another one that's stuck you can just kind of um unscrew it and it um you know comes off again but you can see this that's a cream one there there's no metallicness or anything like that no shimmer um and i do find that some of the new ones to me aren't as opaque as some of the older ones but that's just my opinion i do recommend born pretty i think they're really great so i'm going to move on to the next brand which is okay so next up we've got nicole diary so these are actually sold by um, born pretty store as well as nicole diary and um, you can find them both on born pretty store's website as well as aliexpress so um their bottles are nine millimeters in size milliliter should i say um you do some Sometimes get a bit of separation with some of the colours and um, but they do tend to have a quite a nice consistency with their um, stamping polishes um, I don't tend to have too much trouble and um, I do find um, I think these two are water-based ones so they do tend to take a bit longer I don't know why they released water-based but I suppose some people do prefer to use um, water-based polishes um, I don't know why I bought these anyway but I think it's the colours were really pretty um, but I do find they do tend to take a bit longer to dry than some of the um, regular um, stamping polishes do. That one's a really nice one. It's got a really nice shimmer in there. Okay, so next up we've got Moe London. I think this might actually be my whole collection of Moe London ones. So Moe London doesn't ship um, polishes to New Zealand directly anymore. Um, I have actually purchased some from... I um, think it might have been El Corazan, so I'm waiting for that order to come. So Moe London um, does a really big range of polishes. Um, they do metallics or sort of like your shimmery chameleon type ones as well as your cream finish. Nine, milli nine milliliters in size. Um, they do um, have a nice consistency. I do like to use them. They are very good quality, but they are on the more expensive side. So um, like I said, I can't get them quite readily here. So I don't really tend to buy them as such now. 
Okay, so next up I've got Maniology, and um, they used to be known as Bundle Monster, but these ones here happen to be part of um, collections that they, they released. So these were part of a, um, oh, like a club thing that they do um, each month, and I sort of um, had subscribed to it, but I've sort of stopped doing it now. I found it really expensive for the shipping and that to New Zealand. Um, they do have like a little, um, and I haven't got one that I haven't stamped, but they have like a black and white sticker on the top that you can stamp your polish onto so you can colour swatch it, which I think is really cute. The name's written on the bottom and they do tend to do two different size bottles there. Um, the consistency is really good. Um, see, that's one I haven't used for a little while. So this can happen from time to time where the um, it comes away from the top. What I tend to do is just kind of crack it like that not kind of be too forceful but that releases it from the neck of the polish and if you just screw the bottle back and then open it again it would have just found its way back into the um the cap so as you can see the consistency is probably a lot a lot thinner than the um nicole diary and the born pretty store ones but it's still actually not bad and these are really opaque i do find that these work really well i have used the blue one quite a lot and that cream one it's actually quite nice to have off white for a change um white can be quite bold and in your face so it's nice to actually have an off white one where you still want to have a lighter stamped image but not something that's so bold that it takes away from the rest of the um the actual design so anyway those are my maniology ones okay there. so my biggest um collection of stamping polishes um other than born pretty store has to be cads i have lost count of how many i've got um they're really nice they're great because they're two in one so you can use them as regular polish as well as stamping so that's what they're designed to do so they do do a mixture of cream finishes as well as metallics i love the packaging this is actually how they come to you so they come in sort of like a cardboard box within a cardboard sleeve i just take it upon myself to kind of identify on the top what it looks like um, they are colour coded so the number of the polish is written and I always tend to put a sticker on the bottom as well as the top just so I can see um, and then that's what the bottle looks like so these are I can never see the size straight away it looks to me like about 10 or oh, 9.5 millilitres and the brush I haven't used this one I need to give all my polishes a bit of a shake the brush is kind of medium size, so it's actually not too bad if you do want to paint your nails, it's not overly big. Um, their polishes do tend to be a bit on the thicker side, and I do find some that I tend to use quite often, I do end up having to put polish thinner in just to kind of thin them out, so I do find them a little bit on the thick side, but the other flip side of that is that they're really opaque and they do... Um, give you full coverage like within one coat so they're really good for that so they do come in this um, format and then they also do come in this format too so this is like a kind of two in one and um, they have like a little pointy nib that you can do drawing and things like that on your nails with this and it's got kind of like a bit of a squeezy bottle there and then if you um, turn the the actual lid it's got a brush at the end of it too so you these are like your two and one stamping polishes but they're great for nail art and there's a smaller amount in the bottle too so if you want to just try colors out these are great you know as opposed to committing to these ones here and um, they do come in a range of colors i've got quite a few there as you can see um, and they are good value for money i, I do quite like the cads brand and um, they have got an aliexpress store but they've also just opened up a new web store as well which i've actually got a 10 percent off discount i'll put on the bottom of the screen and um, so do check that out but I do quite like kids um, I haven't talked about smells with polishes I don't notice smells to be honest with you because I think I've been stamping and whatnot for a while these ones do have a polished smell I won't lie to you I'd say all of the ones in my collection have got a polished smell to them but because I don't notice it I don't normally tend to you know mention it but anyway these are the kids ones here okay next up we've got moira and as you can see i've really just got that brand just for these sort of chromey and um, metallic ones and um, i have got one other one which is a cream finish i got this because i don't actually have that color in any other brands now I do love these these are actually really nice great consistency dry really quickly and um the actual brush size is just kind of on the smaller side which is fine but um yeah probably more of the one of the more dearer ones um, 
um, you know, not cheap or anything like that. And you do have to check to see whether they'll ship these to your country. I will leave the website link for Moira, but they are stunning polishes and I do highly recommend them. Uh, next up we've got Beauty Big Bang, um, another company that's got very reasonably priced um, stamping polishes. And um, my go-to black is Beauty Big Bang's black. Um, I've used other company ones before. This is one that I seem to reorder time and time again. Um, I just like the clean up with it. It's really comes off quite easily around the skin with um, tape and things like that. And it's quite reasonably priced too. So I do find clean ups a lot less messier with this one as opposed to even just the Born Pretty Store one. So yeah, there's a little bit of information and helpfulness hopefully. Um, consistency is on the thicker side. Um, not overly thick, but um, yeah, pretty good, but very, very opaque. It's probably one of the best blacks I've used. I really do like using it a lot. So um, it is an, a stunning stamping polish. I do recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. Um, so they don't tend to do a lot of metallic finished ones. Um, they did bring out some chameleon ones, which I never used, and I sort of saw mixed reviews on those, so I kind of kept away from the bin. The other one, um, which is really nice, is this purple one. Other than that, they've just got those cream finished ones there. So that's the purple one there and that's gorgeous. I really wish they would bring out more like these these two here because they are really nice polishes. Um, do need to give that one a shake. Another one there that the cap stuck on. So you just kind of snap it like that, screw it back on, undo it and then it should be fine to go after that. That needs a bit of a shake but you can see it's a stunning polish. Really nice and um, good consistency, good formula and they dry. Okay last but not least I've just pulled out all the other little bits and pieces I've got. I've still got another couple of insignificant stamping polishes, so I won't bother covering them, but these are some others that I've got. So I've had Conad ones for a long time. Um, I haven't used these for ages because I seem to have a lot of other brands, but um, just in case anyone needs to know, they're still in good condition. Still working well. Not sure where you can even get these from. I think I got these off eBay um, a while back. Another brand that I've had for a while is Yakin N. So I've got four... Well, they've got a grey one as well. Um, this is one of my favourite navy blue polishes. Um, I did purchase these from Born Pretty Store. And I think I might have got a couple from um, eBay as well. I'm not sure if you can still get these. Um, but I thought I'd just sort of throw them in there just so you can see. Um, that one's sort of thickened up. You can use them. Now polish um, thinner for these if you feel like you need to. Um, another brand I've got is... Um, color alike haven't used these for a while because these are actually all stored in my bottom drawer which i don't tend to go to much these days but um the, br the brush on this one is quite little um but i do like this one it's quite a cool um color it's like a purple that's got a sort of aqua blue shimmer through it very very nice and um, they also do cream polishes uh last but not least um hit the bottle and um, these are the only four polishes i've got from hit the bottle and I mainly got it because of this beautiful sort of peacock colour that I've got here. Really, really nice. It's actually called Peacock Shimmer. Beautiful polish. I really love it. It's one of my favourite sort of colours, this one other than blue. Um, again, formula's not overly thick, but they do seem to work quite um, well. But again, I sort of tend to stick more to Born Pretty Store, Cad's, um, Beauty Big Bang and Nicole Diary, probably mainly because I can quite easily get them, as in like... They're cheap and um, the shipping is free and quite often I've got discount codes um, which obviously I will list down below for you um, and I can easily get them and um, yeah the formula has always been pretty good but um, yeah these other ones I thought I'd just sort of throw them in there because it might be some that you guys have had or you've been looking at them and you just want to know a little bit more but any me I've got discount codes if I've got direct links um, obviously you'll find them down below too and if you haven't done so already I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new to all of this this is really just to help you along with making decisions on um, nail stamping products um, I will be doing another video um, hopefully soon um, just in light of what's happening out there at the moment I'm a bit inconsistent with videos and things like that but when I do get around to it, I'm probably going to concentrate next on stamping plates and how to stamp. So look out for that video. Hopefully I'll be able to get onto that one in a timely manner. And apart from that, ladies, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Keep safe. Take care of one another. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.